Alright, it's finally here. It's System Test 8. And, I got the new alarms. So, yeah. I put up the, well the 270 SPO is still here. And, besides the poles and the Genesis, the alarms are mainly wheel lock. Sorry for the shaky nets. Uh, let's show you the pole first. This is new. I got the BG-10. Yep. After seven years, seven or six years ago, I used to have a BG-10. And I lost it somehow. So, it's back. Or not. Yeah, no. Whatever. Um, so, the 270 SPO is going to be hooked up to my... CH70 strobe only. I don't have the chime, of course. And, like I said, the Genesis is not plugged in. Here's the smoke detector. I still don't know what's wrong with that. Something's wrong with the one. And, uh, yeah, photoelectric detector is still here. But, um, onward to the alarms. Both of these two new alarms are alarms I used to have. I definitely have this alarm. But let me show you the one. Well, one of them is hooked up and the other one's not hooked up. So, let me show you the alarm that's hooked up. That is... We lock MT24 LSM. Yep. I got my MT after... I used to have the strobe only. Strobe works. And then it was just originally a horn only thing, and then the horn died and such. But only this is hooked up. I'm only trying the MT today. And RSS has moved. It's not plugged in. This is these are the wires that were plugged in here. But of course, it won't work. And of course it's your large left there. Wait for it. Yep. There it is. And next system test as a spoiler. We're going to be using BAM! Wheelock NX. Yep, I got the Wheelock NX. It's back, folks. Or, you've never seen this before, but I used to own an NS. Sort of like the ZNS, the horn died, well, the strobe died first, and then the horn died, and basically it was useless. But I got back, and both worked. That's great. And like I said, in system test too. You could technically call my ZNS a ZNH because of the stroke. Yeah, it's dead. And this is not plugged in either. Next system test. Okay, enough talk. Uh, the horn's gonna set is set on its regular tone, low volume, and I'm actually gonna be going backwards because this is actually set on continuous. So it's gonna go continuous, then code three. I don't have a panel, so I can't do much time. So, three, two, one. Sounds like Kind of hard to do with one hand. Yes, I'm holding the fire alarm with my foot. Shut up already. Man, it takes a while to reset. Come on. Focus. There you go. I know, this would be so much easier if I had a BG-10L. At least, in my opinion, it would. But, 
I have this, which it's not an Allen wrench, but this is a hex hex screwdriver. I said it on here. But anyway, uh, before I change that to code three, let's put this stopper on here and let's rewire this. For some odd reason, I'll tell you real quick. You won't be seeing this BG-10 around that long because there's a little weird problem with this. Um, one, it doesn't like to be powered with 18 volts, and with the exceeder strobe, it doesn't really want to flash. I don't know why, there's just something wrong with this BG-10, I don't really know. You won't be seeing this around, at least with this setup, maybe with my panel setup whenever I get that done. But anyway, back to the connection. So. I'm trying to do this the quickest way I can, guys, so. Alright, let's, let's grab this. Alright, 270 SPO. Pleasant, no sound. Set on fifteen canella. Sorry for the shaking. All right, let's change it to code three. This is gonna be a while because I kind of have to do a certain thing. So yeah. There's one more alarm, just a quick reminder, that is coming, and maybe by the next system test, I'm not entirely sure you'll see it, but you'll see it soon. And I'll also mention that it's going to be loud. In fact, it's going to be my loudest alarm of them all. I tried out the 9806, in fact... While I'm at it, let me just give you a quick demonstration of what it sounds like. Alright. Ouch. So this is only sound. Uh, I don't the camera mic make this really loud. Because you are right next. There, so here we go. Six. Man, that thing's loud. I have ear protection in, so. Yep. Yeah. Someday I'll put that in my system test, but for now, not yet. Not just yet. Alright. This at MT has the little jump the switches in it. They don't include the plugs, which are called jumpers. They, just, they have the same thing that the Commander 3 has. So. Cool. as quick as I can guys so please bear with me uh, okay. four yeah easy 
It's nice to have the M MT back. It is. I've missed this MT. Because I used to have this, like I said. Oh, and I didn't tell you the Kinjala sent me. It is fifteen seventy five. I'll show you the label once I get this screwed up. Alright. There. $15.75. Which I believe it means straight on here it's 15. Well, it goes some other way. It shines 15 from somewhere and it shoots out 75. I don't know. <laughs> what do I know? So, code 3. Fail. Shoot. Oh. Hold on, I wasn't even plugged in. Stupid me. Was it? How was it even plugged in? Because I tried out the 9806. Someday I'm going to get the 9838. That's going to be also loud. So, alright. Here we go. Let's do a smoke detector. Because we haven't seen it. Well, yes, it has. And strobe doesn't flash. Okay. So that has been a very long but also really cool system test eight. There you go, guys. Wheel lock MT and the BG10. See ya in the next system.